Does anyone know what's going on? This audio file is from a small British radio station that was sent to us via email from a man who claims to have worked on the show. The email read, Hello Apex TV. I'm pretty skeptical to all things paranormal, but neither I nor any of my co-workers have been able to explain what recently happened on a radio show. On December 6th, 2018, our show was running as normal. The host of the show has been in radio for 10 years, and even he didn't know how to handle what happened. What happened during the show caused me and everyone listening to question everything we knew. None of us working on the show went home that night knowing with a clear head, and even now, I'm still looking for answers. What you're about to hear is immensely bizarre. Here was a recording of the call. Listen to this and decide for yourself. Hello there listeners, that was Stevie's Surfer there. Fantastic little tune, we're going to be hearing a lot more of that in the future. I actually got down to the beach not too long ago with my son, who is two years old as of last week. Ah, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, the beach was lots of fun, a bit drizzly, but we're used to that, aren't we? But we found a lot of sea glass down there. Uh, does anyone know what sea glass is? No? Well, it's glass that has been washed out to sea and has been shaped and filed down by the ocean. And it's soft and rounded. It's actually quite beautiful, so we took some home. Much to my wife's annoyance, but there you go. Okay, so back to our question of the hour. It seems there's a new technological advancement every single day. And with the Juno spacecraft just about to reach Jupiter, we're feeling a bit futuristic. Exactly right. So we're asking, what do you think computers will look like in 1,000 years' time? Now, we all know they've been getting smaller and smaller over the last few decades, but will that stay the same? Or will computers get bigger because we use them for different things? Will we use our smartphones more and more for our own personal computing? We have Gillian on line one. Uh, Gillian, what do you think computers will look like? Yes, yes, I think I know what you mean. I think we get so bogged down in wondering what the future is like sometimes, we don't actually realise and appreciate the amazing things that surround us in today's world. I think you make a very good point, Gillian, and for that, you get a round of applause. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, that's no problem at all. Gillian there with her theory of flexible, sticky computers. That sounds feasible, doesn't it? If you don't think so, or you'd like to suggest something a bit different, give us a call, you know the number. Right now we have Haley on the line. What do you think, Haley? Computers. What will they look like in 1,000 years from now? Sticky? Invisible? The floor is yours. H Haley? Hello? Okay, I guess Haley had better things to do. Luckily, we have Edward on line four. Edward, what do you think? We're talking about computers in 1,000 years. Hmm, that's a bit odd. What's going on, guys? Are the lines down? Are we getting any of our calls through or not? Well, sorry to my avid listeners, it seems we are having a bit of technical difficulty. I do apologise for this, and we'll get it looked at by our little tech gremlins straight away. Thankfully, we can still receive emails, so let's have a look at some of them. Uh, Terry from Crew thinks that in the future, computers will have extremely large... Our humblest of apologies for that, I really have no idea what is... Does anyone know what's going on? Can we get someone... Did anyone hear that? Sounded like some sort of... 
Alpha 4, Mariner 1, 4, 21, 5, 5, 5, 72 degrees. Sustainable life. Landscape is desolate as far as a mile radius. Hello? Who's there? Predicted radio contact made. Hello? Report. Who is this? There's a human sub in super terrain identity agreement the four one nine. I no authorization to divulge my identity to anyone. Um, just hold on a second. Hello? Is this some sort of prank? Requesting revision of dimensional radio frequency noise on the line. I'll have you know I have a radio show to do. Okay, as I was saying, landscape a bit desolate. Computer registers, localized civilization, five ten clicks east. Let me sub scan. Okay, so five one one three seven ten seventeen shows a sixty change from five. Not much to note there. Feels incredibly dry. Doesn't seem to be able to sustain. There's a food nourishment as I continue. I uh, saw a peer the city reads 3.4. Sky not looking much different than it did in 5.720. Air seems to be thinner. Thin. We'll look into possible breathing problems, breathing uh, disorders in young civilians, etc. Does anyone want to jump in and help me out here at all? I've been in radio for 10 years and I've never once had something like this happen. Is someone going to fix this? I'm dealing with God knows what on the signal here. Please keep quiet, sir. We'll have this sorted out in a moment. Corms, can we get a complete change of the radio frequency? I've got a person on the line here. I don't think that I will keep quiet. This is my radio show. Who exactly is this? Just some recon work for the CB. We'll be out of your way in a moment. Just please remain calm. So you're working for the USA? The USA? I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, can I get a 78 on the person on the line, please? I don't know who I'm talking to, what time they're from. This was supposed to be a very, very simple assignment. I'd like to keep it that way. No signs of life in the immediate vicinity. Hoping to make contact in a in 10 minutes. I don't know what I'm going to find there, as the report was and it seems the execution of this mission is even sketchier than that. I request a divulging of main POIs for this period. I don't really want to go in blind again. It's not like that time from 27-13. That was not a good situation to be in. 2016. Okay, well, no wonder. He's still there. Hello? Hello? Can you tell comms I need this fixed now? I was hoping this would be a short-term job so I'd be back in time for the games. If I'm not back in time, I'm not going to be happy. And if it's because of interruptions from this dimension, I'm really not going to be happy. And I'll tell you comms the preparation of the job was far worse than I've ever seen, even from 8th. Who am I talking to? I demand to know. Sort this out now. I can't have this. I need to be able to do this and get back. I really don't think... I'm really not sure what we've just experienced. I can't tell you if this was a hoax or not. If it is... Then I had no part in it, and I'm really quite bewildered. I'm really as confused as you probably are right now. Would we be able to get news on this, or something? I feel it's my duty to inform those of you still listening that we may have received contact from some sort of different radio frequency there. In the email containing this audio file, the man also said, I can't say what exactly my job at the radio station is, as everyone working in the radio station pretty much agreed to not talk about what happened in fear of sounding crazy, or people thinking that we faked the recording. 
I can't afford to lose my job due to my curiosity, so without their knowledge, I was able to secure a copy of the recording and send it to you. I just hope that someone at Apex TV, or if you choose to upload this, somebody watching can figure out what exactly happened. Thank you. If anybody watching this has any information regarding this story, feel free to contact us. Is this proof of a time traveler caught on a radio show? Be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. We recently did a lie detector test on a man claiming to be from the year 2045. Subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated. Thanks so much for watching everybody, we'll see you in the next video, peace out.